Okay, so it's currently 9.27 here in Chicago. Just signed up for the draw of the Fear of God basketball shoes. And let's see what the results are. Your entry was not selected. Okay, today's gonna be a good day anyway, so uh, I'm not gonna let those L's affect me. I think I left something in there actually. Okay, you want to go back? Yeah, but I didn't bring the keys. I left the keys in the room. Huh. Do you have your ID with Yeah, you? I have my ID. Oh Can you my sign God. my chicken? Sign your chicken? Yeah. Huh? Sign my chicken! <laughs> Alright fam, I'll sign your chicken. Just because it looks like you. <laughs> why do you have this? Can I ask you why you have a chicken? This is my girlfriend. My man right here who's actually been in the vlogs before. He sold me the Travis Scott's at SneakerCon, right? All of a sudden, fam. All yes, of a sudden. Sir. So they only released that three foot lockers in the US, I believe. My man's gonna sell them to me. He's giving me a pretty good price. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. $8.25. I'll take it because I know I'm gonna make some content out of it. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a hoop in these, so expect an on-court review. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm excited decided to test these out because I'm these shoes are absolutely fire. Okay, so we just finished up the pop-up. It was absolutely amazing. Shout out to everybody in Chicago who pulled up. And now we are about to get on a flight and head home to the Bay Area because we have another pop-up tomorrow. I'm doing back-to-back pop-ups. But first, let me show you my two sneaker pickup. The Fear of Gods, the Mocha 3s. Hasn't been out in so many years, over a decade. I'm gonna be wearing this literally tomorrow because tomorrow, let the countdown begin. Travis Scott concert. We're going to it right after the pop-up. Anyway, I'm headed to the airport. I'm putting these in my bag. Thank you, Restock Chicago, for bringing me out here for the grand opening i will definitely be back maybe for complex con but anyway i gotta get on this flight like i said so i'm gonna dial in and i'm out of here okay so your boy just got to sfo damn <laughs> nice coat g when you in the city g you pull up oh my there. god you more bay than me now huh <laughs> All right guys, so it is literally the next morning since I got to the Bay Area and we are up early, early morning before the pop-up because we are gonna be balling right now. We're gonna test these out on court right now and let's just say I got no fear because ball is life. You gonna drop a 100, fam? It's just saying. Just because it's expected doesn't mean it's gonna get delivered. Oh. That's for all my sneakerheads out there. You're talking about the Nike delivery, how they put yeah. the swoosh on the outside of the box? Okay guys, so we just got done hooping. Unfortunately, I didn't film too much because I didn't have anybody to film for me, but I gotta give you guys a quick review on these. They were actually really good on court. I thought I was gonna play with them one game and then switch out, but honestly, they felt good. I'll tell you guys more about the shoe later, so. Yeah, we're gonna go get ready and head to the pop-up. All right, guys, so we just got to the Fixed Kicks pop-up in Santana Road. We're gonna hook up some people with some clothing, so let's go outside. Very cool. Right, yeah. Camel vibes. That one? All right. Small. Take that one. Shirt. All right, you can fit us. go. Grab that one. Grab right there. We got donuts for everybody inside, too. So. First person came at 6 a.m. So I'm gonna let him play this for free. But basically, we have three boxes of Yeezys. One of these boxes is an actual frozen yellow Yeezy. But the other two boxes are my frozen yellow Dream Crew slippers. So anybody who buys a slipper can actually play this game and try to win the shoes for free. But since the homie was first in line, I'm gonna let him play for free. But basically, I'm literally gonna put these right here. I'm gonna mix them up. He's not gonna be able to touch the boxes because obviously it's gonna be uh, too light. So he's literally only gonna be able to look at the box boxes and just pick one so let's go ahead and grab them and do this one of these boxes has a Yeezy in it the other two have the Yeezy slippers in it so you have a chance of walking away with a real Yeezy you want this one yeah. all right oh this one's kind of heavy <laughs> you got the slippers. I'm gonna, yeah, give, cool. I'm gonna give you the slippers for free. I'm gonna give you a shirt too for free, actually. Too. What size are you? Shout out Jesus Alvarez. He doesn't want this. I'm going to the right easy. one. You're gonna go this one. You got the slippers. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, hopefully you still enjoy these. These are actually pretty comfy. So DreamCrew.com still available. Which one? I'm gonna go with this. You're gonna one. go with this one. <laughs> you got the. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. That was the quickest decision. Let's see if he got it. Oh, dude, I think he got it. You got the slippers. I'm still chilling with that. <laughs> I think this is the one. It's heavy. Ready? 
Got the slippers. Oh, damn, nobody's got it. This, this one? one? All right, finally we got a winner. He won the slipper. Oh. So the odds are 33.3 percent, according to my math. Where if there is, if there is Yeezys in there, we don't know. Yeah. Plot twist. I think we got it. There we go. I got the slipper, man. Man, nobody's won. How many people played so far? Like seven? Middle? We're going with the middle one? Get his reaction, because I think he's about to be excited that he got. Some slippers! Man, nobody has won yet. What the hell? We've gone through all the, almost all the slippers. This one right here? Alright, hopefully he wins because this is the last slipper we have. Oh my god. Finally, he gets some Dream Crew slippers. Dreamcrew.com. Okay guys, so nobody won the Yeezy with the game that we did. So what we did is that everybody who bought a shirt is going to get a raffle ticket. And we are about to raffle off the two pairs of Yeezys. We also gave out tickets to people who donated toys because this was a toy drive. So we're going to put all the, the tickets here in a box. Oh, Dean's in the building, guys. Baby Dean's in the building. Raise him up there. Yeah! So after a crazy weekend flying from Chicago to the Bay Area for two different pop-ups, it was an absolute success, but now it was time to have a little bit of fun at the Travis concert. All right, guys, so me and Harris just pulled up. Let's do it. We are about to be inside of Astro World here in Oakland Arena. Yo, huge shout out to SeatGeek for these tickets. They gave me nine tickets, so I'm here with all my close friends, my wife, my cousins. Like, literally, it's going to be the littest night ever. This is Harris's first concert since when? Back to your boys. And He's not talking about the new Vegas show. He's talking about like the old, the old, old, stuff, old, yeah. the old stuff. Anyway, we got to get in there. It's going to be absolutely insane. Again, if you guys want to download SeatGeek, it is the best place to get tickets. Use my code, get $20 off, Kais. And uh, we'll talk more about that later, but let's just go in there and freaking rage out because we're about to go in this crazy ass mosh pit. Enjoy the ride. Yo, guys, we, in, we inside the arena right now. It is lit, y'all. Yo, it is absolutely it is insane right now, and it hasn't even started. Oh, Harris is scared Harris for his life. scared, G. Oh my god guys, freaking craziest concert. It was absolutely too lit. Mina was even moshing, right? Oh yeah. Running it, bro. I was throwing water in the air for everybody. You already know what it is, getting sweaty. I gotta work out in. We gotta go home, yo. That's a thousand calories right there. Thousand Please. calories, bro. A thousand yeah. calories. Shout out to Travis. Shout out to Travis. Hold on, look at that. I went to Astro World and all I got was this vlog. All right, guys. So I am officially back in Southern California. It was an amazing weekend from Chicago to the Bay Area. Amazing pop up. Shout out to everybody who came to Restock. Shout out to everybody who came to Fix Cakes. And also, shout out to Seat Geek for the crazy Travis Scott concert experience. Now, guys, I gotta tell you, man, Astro World was one of the craziest concerts and funnest concerts that I've ever been to and I've been to a lot of concerts let me tell you guys like that mosh pit like you have to experience the mosh pit like it's kind of scary seeing all these dudes like freaking shoulder each other and stuff like that but adrenaline is rushing here's the exciting news is literally this morning Travis Scott announced that there's a second half to his tour so he just announced a bunch of new dates and of course you know where to get your tickets SeatGeek so I'm gonna link SeatGeek down below with SeatGeek and their tickets it's, it basically grades them. You know, you could get an A ticket. That means that you're going to be getting a really good deal and really great seats. It also gives you a view of where your seats are going to be. If you guys want to get $20 off your first purchase, you already know what to do. Use my code KAIS and get yourself some tickets and a discount. And even if you're not trying to go to Travis Scott, you can get it for sports events, concerts, all types of anything that requires buying tickets. SeatGeek is the place to get your tickets at. And before I end off this video, because I know it was super like just random events events that happened this past weekend. One of the big things that happened was me hooping in the Fear of God one. And basically, I got to give you guys a quick review because they were better than I expected. Now, I was expecting these to be more of like a casual wear shoe over a performance shoe but then we finally found out that it was actually made to be a basketball shoe to kind of bring back nike's hype into the streetwear world basically they killed it like this is stylish and it is great on the court I wish it was a little a little bit wider out here just so i feel a little more comfortable that i'm not going to roll my ankle but the lockdown is good here the comfort is really good and actually i pulled out the insole and it's pretty crazy because it has 
with a visible zoom air. Now you guys probably can't see that because the lighting is bad, but if you actually look in there, let me get the right angle, wait for it. You can kind of see that there's a full length zoom air unit right along the inside of the shoe. That's like, you could literally see it and push on it. And I could feel that when I was playing, like it was super, super comfortable. So the lacing system was fine. Like I didn't have any problem with lacing. Like I, my shoes didn't come undone. This back uh, zipper didn't unzip. Everything was cool. Sizing wise though, you definitely have to go a half size down. Like these things fit really big. I got a size 10. I prefer a size nine and a half, but I'm gonna roll with the 10 just because I already have them and I've played in them. They didn't get two beat on court. I played about three half court games that were really intense. So there was no problem with traction either. Like I didn't have any problems where my foot slipped. It got a little bit dirty on the bottom, but the court was a little bit dirty as well. So other than that, I have no complaints about the shoe. I will definitely be hooping in these again. It's not a shoe. I thought I was going to take them off right away after I played one game, but I kept them on because I was playing good. They felt good. And like I said, I'm definitely going to be playing again in these. And also that video that I posted on my Instagram, Jerry Lorenzo actually commented on it with laughing emojis. So that means he approved of the skit that we did right there. Basically ended off this whole video. I'm going to be starting a new thing that I'm going to be doing weekly here on my channel, which is the comment of the week. Basically with the comment of the week, it's not going to be here on YouTube. It's going to be on my Instagram, a random comment from one of you guys on my Instagram here in the videos, just to show you guys that I'm paying attention to the comments and also a way for me to drive you guys to go follow me on Instagram. So first of all, go follow me on Instagram at Kai Somar. The comment of the week was basically from Connor. So basically his comment was on my fear of God post and he put when you have 20 and 21, which is kind of funny to me because when you have 20 and 21, everyone guards you like 10 times harder and you just chug up a crazy shot. So he gets the comment of the week. And if you guys want the comment of the week, just go drop a comment. It could be a funny comment. It could be a complimenting comment. It could just be a random comment. But if you want to get noticed, just go comment on my Instagram on any picture or possibly the most recent pictures. Also, don't comment for me to shout you out because that's not how it works. It actually has to be a good comment. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to wrap up the video now because I need to do a lot of editing and get ready for a lot of dope videos that I'm shooting this week. We're out of here. Hit the thumbs up and um, I think that's all I have to say. So we out. Oh, oh, oh,